Welcome back, everybody, to some more Assassin's Creed. We're moving on with the story, and I think we're going to start the path to figure out who the, the head dude is. So let's get in here and see what up. You took your time. Did you wait up, master? I wait for no man. I'm a master now, too. You look tired. Nothing a little adventure won't fix. What news? Ali thinks the time is right to attack the palace. Me too. The Oyun are distracted and the people divided. Divided how? Some are claiming the new Khalifa stole the throne from Abu Abdullah, son of al Mutabakil. What do you know of him? Little. He was there at the palace, the night his father. The night I reached into that chest. Master, have we learned anything more about the object within? Why do you ask? It seems a shame we know so little about something the Order prized so much. Should we not seek to know our enemies better, the better to defeat them? Marhaban Basim, have I interrupted? No. We must turn to the task at hand. Of course, Abu Abdullah. Rebecca tells me you have met his mother. Abu. I did. I think she could be first among our foes. She, or Arib the poet, or Muhammad the governor. All three had ties to our enemies. Muhammad ibn Tahir. His cousins govern the land on which Alamut sits. Their protection is all that shields us from our enemies. I cut our enemies' legs beneath their master. Let me strike while their stumps are bloody. Mm. I will unmask them and learn their intent. Basim is right. We must act swiftly. Go to the round city. Investigate all three, but take no further action. Report back to me atop the house of the previous hill. What? All right, let's see what we're doing here. Oh, shit. Poet, politician, and concubine. I will soon know which one wears the mask. What do you have to say? Well, my finder of facts, my fielder of questions. How can I be of help, Basim? Uh, ask about the poetry, ask about the concubine, ask about the governor Muhammad, ask about the round city. Uh, Tell me about Arib. Her words were as scripture to members of the order. A gifted artist and poetess, Arib won her freedom through her skill. Tabit tells me she keeps a luxurious home in the round city. Anything else? Uh, what do you know of Kabiha? She had ties to the treasurer. Born to slavery, Qabiha rose to become Al-Mutawakkil's favorite concubine in the harem. Yet her son was not made Khalifa, leaving her future uncertain. Anything else? Mm, yeah, two more. Tell me about the governor. I saw him give orders to Wasif at Turkey. Muhammad is one of the Tahirids, powerful viceroys of the Khalifas in Persia. Viceroy? Star Wars? He all Baghdad from his seat at the courts. Anything else? Yep, one more. Where can I find our suspects? All three live within the glorious round city, the power center of the Abbasid Khilafa. Anything else? Uh, no, that's it. Shukran, Fulad. I earned a blow dart for that. Say the harem is home to hundreds, secluded and kept from sight of men. This That's right. Place may be I heard that too. Than Alamut. They say no man may enter the harem unless he is a eunuch or the Khalifa himself. I am neither, so this could be interesting. Um, we can get in. No problem. What beautiful homes. Far 
Aren't they? From the slums of Anbar. Go. Fox and the Hound. What do you see? Are there any more bad guys in there? Generosity, but by my genius. We we'll knock on our way. For tokens, favors, and personal dedications, you may find Sayeda Arib in the garden after her recital. Good day. You must be her patron. It is an honor, Sayidi. If I may, I seek a private audience with the poetess. Do you? I have been moved beyond words by her words. <laughs> Symmetry of sky and sea. I only wish to express my sincere admiration. Pretty words. Nearly as pretty as hers. And just as false. We both know what mask she wears. Don't we? Mask, Saidi. Enough, Saidi. I know what you are, and I know why you've come. You think I haven't seen you skulking in the shadows. She's no longer party to your plots. Your secret meetings, your foolish nicknames, I have scrubbed her clean of them. For I have set a watch on her door. My men dog her recitals. Every letter she's had of you I have shredded or sent back. Sent back? You will find them piled at the postal bureau. Burn them. Bury them. Do what you will. You can choke on them for all I care. Uh, okay. Foolish nicknames, secret meetings. The patron may have thought me a member of the Order of the Ancients, but piles of letters at the postal bureau may reveal more. Let us see what not you wear, Robertus. All torn, but here's a fragment. Let the hunter set his snares. A Thalem will not be bound. The Order does love their coded names. Perhaps she fears Hidden Ones hunt her. Still, I need more than this. Uh oh. Why? I will do as the Huyun do, sift through strangers' mail and snip out conspiracies. Mind your business.
Oh shit. There was nothing. Where am I looking? Oh. Here's air, be poetry, blah blah. Your poetry has touched me oh, hey, trust me in the night. You are my oasis. After the honey drips from her lips, a thalad leaves the garden and follows the mouse. Secret order correspondence? Bad poetry? A bit of both? Oh, I yeah. could be a thalab. The patron spoke of a recital in the gardens. I could give this letter to Harib and see where the vixen leads me. Please note that your payment of 15 dinars is overdue and must be... No. One more, I think. Abu Abdullah is the true Khalifa and will soon reclaim his stolen throne. I will leave this one for the Uyun. Anything else? Oh, shit. Stairs. Oh. Beautiful. Hello there. Have we met? Come, don't be shy. I rarely bite and I never leave a mark. <laughs> it seems there's no privacy in the public eye. Nope. How came you by that letter? Who put you up to this? I work in the dark. To serve the light. <laughs> I've met the men who serve the light. It seems its glare oft leaves them blind. Are your masters so blinkered and bumbling? You were warned, you son of a dog. Come a reap. We will set no tongues to wagging here. Yours is the tongue that will not still itself, even when I beg for silence. You spurned the counsel of he who raised you, and without whom you would still be nothing? I raised myself. I authored myself. I have written myself into history. You are banished from my pages. Now be gone! 
How can I leave you to wars such as these? You're a woman alone, unarmed. Words are weapons enough for me. Then let us see what defense they offer. Take her. What? There's somewhere the Seida needs to be, and you are delaying her. It seems that words can summon shields. We will need to make this quick. She just walks off. Die! The pleasure was all of us! Again! You're out of shame! Your one down. Shut up. Arim has left for her secret meeting. I must hurry. The letter commanded the Thalon to leave the garden and follow the mouse. Perhaps Arim is not lost to me yet. Follow the mouse symbol. What? Or will the fox flee? What? Oh, here's another one. This way? Excuse me. Here, give me this stuff. You. you should bring him before the Mazalin court. But he thinks only of my reputation, Sara. To safeguard success, I must be palatable, discreet. He fears I am too proud. <laughs> you? Never. I write that love is feral and free, unbound by stricter or statute. Should I not practice what I publish? Practice makes perfect. It also makes enemies. So be it. But let me choose them. Courtiers, caliphs, patrons, partners. So many men have tried to decide my enemies. <laughs> and friends. Though Allah knows I once chose poorly. He hid himself well. And the poet needs patrons. Even one so great as Al-Falab. Well, I have my pick. Good. There's trouble times ahead. I will be fine. I have survived six caliphs. I will survive... Six more. Don't worry, Sarah. I'll kiss the rings I need to kiss, but I will not be bound again. Not by anyone. The 
secret ah ouais. meetings, coded names. There is no trace of the order here. Still, she has her pick of patrons. Maybe the head of the order is not Harib herself, but an admirer. Case closed. Okay. Ain't going in that way. Do not even think about it. Keep walking. That was friendly. I will have to find another way in. Oh, motherfucker. Oh, we ain't going that way. What do you guys have to say? Her influence wanes. Her followers dwindle by the day. Kabitha is a great woman, Farah. She was, while Al Mutawakil lived, but her son did not succeed him, and her time has come and gone. When the tide ebbs, will you be swept with it to the sea? I do not like to get involved in politics, Nasreen. Please, we know what you are. Enough! The new eunuchs will be arriving any minute. The eunuchs? Meet them at the gate, Makira, and try not to make a mess of it. Come, Nasreen. New servants mean new faces in the harem. If I had a eunuch's uniform, I could slip in among them. Um. Where do I find a unit? Show me everything. Got you. Thank you. A bit tight across the chest and gut. It'll be fine. Move it. Oh. Oh. Pickpocket eunuch. Hopefully this will work. Tamahel, do I know you? I doubt you would. This is my first day. I would hate to be late. Makira, assalamu alaikum. You know him, Makira? Um, I... What? 
You have forgotten me already. No, no, I... I'm sorry, it has been a long... That is all right, fair one. My face is quite forgettable. Unlike your own. Farah is expecting me. Between us, she terrifies me. Please do not make me late for her. Let him in, Abbas. Barakallahu fiki, Sayyidati. I made it. What are you doing? Makira! I was just... Breaking into Kabiha's office? You are no eunuch. Leave now, or I'll tell Nasreen. I'll tell Farah. Tell them what? That you let me in here? I cannot imagine they will be pleased about that. You are a Kahramana, no? You serve the concubines every need. When is the last time someone asked what you needed? Someone who would not judge. Someone you could forget was ever here. There must be something you need, Makira. Or want. There is something. Abbas at the gate. He... He has eyes for Farah. The Umuwalad. He doesn't look at me. But Farah uses a paint to make her eyes bigger. And if I could have some, I think he might... Say no more. I am at your service. Where can I find this paint? The storage room, but no one is allowed in. Apart from Nasreen. Farah trusts her with everything, even her magic potion. Farah mm. has a magic potion? She has Nasreen carry it. Tells her when she wants a sip. It makes her breath foul. Still, I'd give anything to try it myself. And so you shall. And in exchange, Makira, what will you give me? The key to that office. I paint and magic potion. Your wish is my command. Huh. I paint and magic potion. Seriously? Move it. Get out of the way. So what is this magic potion? Ah, I see. Alcohol. That's not it. Where am I going? Ooh, treasure. To my disguise. No, focus, Basim. <laughs> you need that key. Paint and potion acquire. Here you are. Oh, thank you. The others say I'm too young for paints and potions, but I'm not too young to know why they use such things. Of course not. Now the key. They only know more than me because they've all read this book. The garden and its mysteries. It's all about biology, the body. Its secrets? It is quite infamous. Have you read it? No. Farah keeps it in the Khalifa's quarters. They're on the roof, and strictly forbidden. Makira, we had an agreement. Please, if you could just get the book and bring it to my room. It's in the east corner on the left. Oh, fine. I don't know where it is. But then the key. Paint, potion. Now she has me fetching body books. I meant to play a servant, not be one. 
What's going on, guys? Um. Son, are you gonna? Are you lost? You cannot be here. Don't mind me. Porters fit for a Khalifa. Where's the book? Oh, found it. The garden and its mysteries. Not much spice to the title. I guess that was the idea. Calm it down. Hey, where did uh, next time? I think they would have done it. I've got your back. Anything is going on. What's up, guy? Where's the door? Don't mind me. I got your stupid book. Oh, that's a wall. There you are. Enjoy. Let us hope she does not come up with any more tasks. I yeah. think I have created a monster. Give me the damn key. The book is in your room. Now... So? Are my eyes bigger? Huge. Makira, I need the key. This portion, it... It gives you confidence. I feel like I could take on the world. Yes, I am familiar with this potion. We had a bargain, Makira. The key. Now. Wait. You have to return the potion to Nasreen. If Farah finds out it's gone, she'll be furious. Then the key is yours, I swear. Fine. Drink some water while I am gone, will you please? This is the last time, Basim. Put your foot down. Why do I need to learn algebra? Seriously? I am never going to need it. Back where you belong. The potion is put back. All is right in the world. Now I will get that key from Makira if I have to pry it from her hands. Give me the fucking key. Done. I am done. Thank you. Funny, I have a bit of a headache. What happens now? 
You give me the key. Oh, right. Um... You do not have it. You are afraid of Kabiha. What? No, no. Her star is fallen. They all say it. It's just... I was having fun. Here it is. Finally. Now to find my answers. Can I kill her? I remember this perfume. I smelled it in the bazaar. And perhaps in the harem. But on who? Hmm. A hairpin. Nings. When did Kabiha get it? Maybe it's that other girl. A signed book of Harib's poems. The ocean, the desert, the cobra, and the dove. A map of the Khilafa and Alamut. Yet for its grandeur, the room is all but empty. Things look to be missing, including Qabiha herself. What's happened? Ah, the employees! Huh? <gasps> what is this? What did you give her? She always drank from it. She asked me to give it to her. It's harmless. You call this harmless, Nasreen? You should go. Now, give me the key. What happened to her? Me. You really shouldn't have left me alone with that flask. I'll search the rooms. You with uh, me. I did nothing. I did not hurt her. What did you do? Relax. No one is looking at us. They will be far too busy with the book they find in Nasreen's room. Nasreen's room? The garden and its mysteries. Nothing body, just a study of native herbs. Their properties medicinal, poisonous, cosmetic. Belladonna, deadly nightshade. It does make the eyes look lovely in small doses. Same, I had to waste it all on her. What? You saw them, Farah and Nasreen, dripping poison in everyone's ear. Spreading lies and rumors about my mistress. Kabiha. One dead, the other disgraced. No one will hear them now. Yes, Yala. What are you? Loyal. In Kabiha's absence, I defend her throne from those who would supplant her. Her office is empty. She has abandoned you, Makira. You serve a faithless mistress. She will return from the palace when the danger has passed. You really should not have told me that. It makes no difference. You will never find her. Now, play nice. There are children present. Nice uniform, by the way. Suits you. I can do nothing for Farah. But if Kabiha is the head of the order, I could still spare those who have yet to suffer. Night. Alright. Let's try. We get this done. This part, at least, done in time. Move it. Is he gonna see me? You have 
got no business here. The Vandal in courts are close. Their wish once told me it is where the commons can appeal when justice itself is dealt unjustly. Move it. Greetings, Sayyidi. I wonder if I could ask you some questions about the governor, Muhammad ibn Tahir. I am not underpaid to answer questions. I suggest you make this worth my time. Otherwise... Uh, Would you, you accept this token of appreciation from a humble citizen? Hmm. I would. As a start. But... I serve justice, not spoil it. Take your money. Now, what do you know about the governor? He's feared, respected, dedicated to the rule of law, order. That is all you know. You work here. Muhammad ibn Tahir keeps office at the courts. At the shorter courts. Not the Mathalim. He does keep spies here. One scuttles back to his office every day at noon. Goodbye now. I'm gonna punch you. That messenger could lead me to the governor's office. And whatever secrets he buries there. Um, where are you going? Move it, nerds. Not doing anything. I see you. Shit. Now what I meant to do. Don't worry about me. I still got you. I see you. You're pushing people out of your way is rude.
Where'd he go? There he is. always warned me I would be dragged to the Shota. Who would have imagined I would walk in willingly? Um. What's up, guys? Don't want you here. Now you oh, I can't go in? I was just joking. Go away. Son of a bitch. Shit, shit, shit. <sighs> oh, it's not an open window. Damn it. Why is there so many people right there? Oh, I got in. You don't know that. There we go. Uh, some of the silver, blah, blah. Who else I cannot guess, but I would stay if it. Okay. Who's that guy? Oh, <laughs> 
That's, I guess that's not who I thought it was going to be. What? What? I'm not sure. I did not see him go upstairs. Can't see shit. You see anything? What we got in here? Long enough, Jesus. Cousins, pre request all terms and element are hereby voided. Our pledge of protection revoked. Our offer of asylum rescinded. The Tahirids agreed to withdraw their protection from Alamut at the governor's request. The hidden ones are betrayed. The governor has been tracking the rebels and the hidden ones. Interesting. I swear allegiance to our Caliph Regnant and vow that I will not seek the throne while he is living. You can tell your masters I've had copies made. Shred that page, slit my throat. Our bargain stands. My masters. The masked cabal, the order of... I don't care. Are you not in their service? Are you not in their service? I serve the Khalifa. I serve Allah. And I do it without hiding my face. Now, if you'll excuse me. Why were you giving commands to Asif at Turkey, a member of the Order? The brute was stoking the fire of a thousand rebellions. Thankfully, someone spared me the trouble of putting him down. A hidden one, I heard. Hmm. Are you the one to thank? Tank? I read your letters. You forced your cousins to remove their protection from Alamut. You sold us to our enemies. And bought peace to Baghdad. You've already helped yourself to the receipt. Abu Abdullah's oath of allegiance. What does he have to do with anything? His ambition would have torn the Khalifa apart. I offered the order Alamut. They gave me assurance he'd threaten us no more. So to trap a fox, you lose a wolf. The order will see Baghdad burn, Governor. History will judge you for this. History can hang me for it. I'll leave this world knowing that there is courage in compromise. There is also cowardice. How old are you? Twenty? I was about your age when I came to this city. Righteous beyond reproach. What happened? I grew up. If you really wish to spare Alamut, turn that blade on your enemies. Give me their name. The one you brokered the deal with. I could. But if you fail, then I die. And I'd prefer not to. Now, I have things to do. No hard feelings. Guards! Mm. You dick. So the day ends with you the you should buy the governor! Look 
was that? Basim, have What's you that? investigated your three sus? You appear decided, Basim. What have you learned? Harib is innocent. The governor less so. He made a deal with the order and removed his cousin's protection from Alamut. Happen. Just as we had feared. We've been bare to our enemies. Yes. In exchange for Abu Abdullah's renouncing his claim to the throne. He seized his crown to suit the order, led by his mother. Gabiha is the head of the snake. Where is she now? Fled to the palace. If we act now, we can spare Alamut. Give me the feather, master. Gabiha will meet swift justice. And I will be the one to deliver it. What? What? What are you saying? That a more seasoned hand is needed. The last time you entered a palace, you left it in disarray, to put it lightly. Have I not proven myself since? Master, I have earned the right. Earned what? The right to kill? No, no, that is not. A blow from one of us is a blow for all of us. Or does your ego demand the honor? It is not ego, master. It is duty. I took an oath to leave my life behind, to walk the shadows and to serve the light. I mean to. Gabiha is more dangerous than her underlings. Strike quickly and end this. Do not hesitate. Blood from a stone. Who is she to keep you from Kabiha, or to tell you when to strike? My master and mentor, without whom I would be nothing but a corpse in the streets of Anbar. You spy on me now? Always. So you will swallow your questions, strike at her enemies, serve without complaint. And live your life dogged by El Jinni in the hovel you once hoped to escape. You know where to find me when your duty is done. Mm. Many dead or disappeared. And each trail of blood leads back to you, Al Bahamut, the last mask to be lifted. You set Wasif on the rebels, unleashed Al Ghul, sold your son's crown to seize Alamut. And all for what? Some worthless token of a long forgotten age. No matter. I will see you at the palace. I will cut the head from the snake. All right. And as you can see with that, we'll end this one here. Looks like next we're going to kill the snake. And we just became a master. So, as always, leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe. And I'll check you later. Peace.